Hello, we are discussing about GATE 2006 ECE paper. Topic we are discussing is electron devices. This is fourth one mark question. Came in GATE 2006. The phenomena known as early effect in a bipolar transistor refers to a reduction of ba effective base width caused by A. Electron hole recombination at the base B. Reverse biasing of the base collector junction C. Forward biasing of emitter base junction D. Early removal of stored base charge during saturation to cutoff switching Correct answer for this one is B. The reverse biasing of base collector junction We will see the details now Early effect is also called as the other name for this one is base width modulation Before going to discuss about early effect we will recall one important point we know that the depletion region around a reverse bias PN junction gets wider as the reverse bias voltage increases and gets narrower as the reverse bias voltage decreases we know that one every PN junction will consisting of depletion region under open circuit and under forward bias the depletion region reduces under reverse bias the depletion region increases even under reverse bias, if you increase the reverse voltage, the depletion region gets more wider. And under reverse bias, if you reduce the depletion, if you reduce the reverse voltage, the depletion region gets smaller. So the same behavior is holds true even for bipolar junction transistor operating in active region. Because bipolar junction transistor BJT active region is nothing but emitter base junction forward bias and collector base junction reverse bias if the emitter base junction is forward bias and collector base junction is reverse bias then the BJT is said to be in active region so the barrier width that is depletion region at emitter base junction is negligible in compared to depletion region width at collector base junction because collector base junction is reverse bias emitter base junction is forward bias this is a diagram we will get this is emitter base junction this is BJT NPN transistor we are going with emitter base and collector under forward bias P side is applied with positive voltage N side is with negative voltage under forward bias depletion region is very small so that this is a small portion and under reverse bias collector base junction is this one so collector side we are applying positive voltage to make collector base junction reverse bias under reverse bias there is a potential barrier which is very large compared to forward bias potential barrier so here this is the depletion region of reverse bias depletion region of forward bias which is small this is large if you increase the reverse voltage that is as the voltage applied across collector bias junction increases now this VCE1 is going to be increases VCE1 is increases if VCE1 increases that is voltage across collector bias junction is increases the penetration of depletion region into base is much larger than that of collector region whenever you are increasing reverse bias at that time depletion region increases but this increase is more into base side than collector side because base is lightly doped and collector is heavily doped so by that time this is going to be the diagram so in collector side the width is going to be normally it is almost equal as previous even though if you are applying more reverse voltage now look at this one VCE2 and this is VCE1 VCE2 is larger than VCE1 to indicate that one we are going with more number of positive and negative indicators next now the depletion region is more since we are applying more reverse bias but this more is penetrated into base side than collector side because base is lightly doped now the width of base where the electrons are going to be present that is nothing but this region is going to be smaller compared to the previous region this region is going to be called as where the electrons are present in the base region is called as effective base width that is also called as neutral region of base neutral region of base is going to be over previously whenever VCE1 is applied it is large whenever VCE2 is applied it is small so effective base width is going to be gets reduced 
whenever we are applying more reverse bias. This decrease in effective base width with increasing reverse bias of collector bias junction is called as early effect or base width modulation. As the name implies base width modulation, base width is getting modulated that is getting changed as a result of increase in reverse voltage that is collector bias junction voltage. So this is what the principle of early effect. From the principle of early effect we can say that one the correct answer for the given question is reduction of effective base width is caused by reverse biasing of base collector junction. Right answer is B. Thank you.